commander stand. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. <laughs> Entering stage one burnout detect mode. And we have liftoff of Electron from Rocket Lab Launch Complex One. We're just 50 seconds into flight, and you heard the call out on comms there that mission, the mission is continuing normally. So Electron will approach max Q along its trajectory, otherwise known as maximum aerodynamic pressure. Approaching maximum dynamic pressure. Past maximum dynamic pressure. And there goes the call from our operator on console. Electron has cleared max Q. Propulsion is continuing to look good on the path to orbit. Stage one guidance is nominal. Coming up next in the mission timeline is main engine cutoff, also known as MECO, as Electron's Rutherford engines power down so that the first and second stages of the vehicle can separate cleanly. Following that, the vacuum optimized engine on the second stage will ignite to carry the satellites on board further into space, while Electron's booster will begin to sorry, while Electron's booster will begin to fall back to Earth, marking the start of our recovery attempt. The team on the recovery vessel will now be furiously tracking its return telemetry. Miko confirmed. Staging. Stage to ignition. Recovery telemetry nominal. Flight analyst, recovery LDN mission cord, execute sequence 53, stage 1 recovery operations. Computing landing zone. Miko is confirmed, and so too is the startup of the second stage Rutherford engine. With the separation of stage one and two complete, we'll try and stick with both views as long as we have them. The trajectories are looking goes good so far while we're awaiting fairing separation. Fairing separation. And there goes the fairing, and welcome to space, Mr. Noam Chomsky. Stage two propulsion is nominal.